Hi everyone, I'm Melissa Austin Weeks and I am coming to you from my kitchen. I hope y'all are doing well and you're safe and you're enjoying this week's Vacation Bible School. I am going to be teaching you the cooking school segment of your curriculum. So let's talk a little bit about what all you need to hand out on your counter. First of all, your instructions, which is this week or today we're going to be doing the castle cracker, which I'm really excited about because I love fluffy, fluffy marshmallow. So all the supplies you're going to need is a little jar of marshmallow fluff, a jar of, of blue sprinkles, but if you don't have blue sprinkles and you have rainbow sprinkles, that's fine too. Or if you have hot pink or unicorn sprinkles, that's fine. Then you're going to need some marshmallows, probably maybe two or three, and some graham crackers, some pretzel sticks, a plastic plate, and a knife that's safe for you to be using. So I'm using a plastic knife. You could also use a popsicle stick, but make sure that whatever you use is approved by your grown up so that you stay safe during this um, little activity. So first of all, I wanna tell you a little bit um, real quick that there are lots of scriptures in the Bible where God says it's wonderful to him for you to invite people into your home. That's a word called hospitality. So with your favorite grown-up, why don't you look up some scriptures in the Bible about um, how it delights God when you are kind to strangers and you welcome people into your home. I'm happy to have you here in my home with me. So let's do that um, after it's over and maybe get back to me. You can send me an email at homewithatwist at gmail.com and let me know what your favorite scripture is in hospitality. So let's start. The directions say you always want to read your directions. Give each child a paper plate and a jumbo craft stick or other child safe spreader. Okay, so we've got all of our stuff. Using two sheets of graham crackers, make a sandwich with the marshmallow fluff. So you're going to take your two graham crackers just like this and you're going to open your jar of marshmallow fluff and with your with your spreader you're just going to make like you're going to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich okay so we're just going to spread a little marshmallow fluff just like this just like you're buttering a piece of toast or you're putting peanut butter on a piece of bread okay so it should look like that then you're going to take the other cracker and you're going to make a little sandwich with it okay so We've got our little graham cracker marshmallow sandwich. This looks like the beginnings of a s'more, which is my favorite thing. Okay, then you're going to take a quarter of another graham cracker and break it into three equal pieces. These are going to be used as the turrets, which are um, the tall parts of the castle. So we're going to take a quarter of our... So what I did is I just took a graham cracker and I cut it in half. And then you're going to take this half and break it, okay? And then you're going to take this half and you're going to break it. So if you put it down on your plate, it would look like this, okay? So here's your sandwich you just made. And then you made three little squares with graham cracker pieces. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and now it says... Um, these will be the castles for the turret. So we are going to, and it doesn't say to ice them, but the picture sure looks like they're iced. So let's do that. Why not? You don't have to always follow the recipe exactly. So let's just put a little bit of frosting, marshmallow frosting, on the top of each of our turrets. That's the fun thing about cooking. So you can kind of add your own flavor to things, you know, your own personality. And my philosophy is you can never have too much marshmallow fluff. So let's put this right here on the top. Okay, so it looks like, like a little square with marshmallow. And now we've got our, our sandwich with our marshmallow turrets on the top. Okay? Now it says cut a flag with the cutoff piece and attach to the middle. Oh, what we're going to do is you're going to take your marshmallow. And you're going to hold it you don't want it like this you want you're going to cut it lengthwise and again it's okay if you don't cut it exactly so what might be helpful is to take a second plastic knife or popsicle stick 
and you're just going to cut a little, about a third of your marshmallow. So it looks like that, okay? And that's going to be your flag. So you're going to take it and take a, um, a pretzel stick and on the sticky side, press that there and then you've made a flag. And now your flag is going to go on the top of your turret. Now my plate is not quite as big, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cut my pretzel to make it a little shorter so it will fit on my plate. Okay, so that makes the flag at the top of your turret. See that? And your castle that you're making, the castle was a, were, were where people live. So your castle can be your home. So we're dec you can just kind of pretend like this is the where you live. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the remaining part of the marshmallow and that's gonna be the door. So you're gonna take your other half of your marshmallow um, but first we're going to do is we're going to take your some more marshmallow and you're going to put it on top as the icing on top of your cracker. And just kind of spread it real evenly because the best part's getting ready to happen. You know what that's going to be. If you love sprinkles, this is going to be your favorite part. Okay, now you can take your cut off marshmallow that you had left over from when you made your flag and you're going to stick it on the front. So now you've made your castle structure. Can you all see that? So you've got your marshmallow door here, you've got your graham cracker sandwich that you've just covered with marshmallow and then you have your three turrets that we made with graham cracker pieces and you cover them with marshmallow. Now you know what the best part is? You're going to take your sprinkles or your blue sanding sugar or whatever you have on hand and you're just going to go to town on sprinkling. Oh my goodness. If you haven't had your nap yet, um, grown-ups, your campers are probably not going to take a nap after they have this great snack. But you know what? It's okay. They can just go to bed earlier. And look at that, what you made. It's a beautiful castle. You've got your flag at the top and you've got your turrets and your front door and your beautiful sparkling sugar castle. And I know meeting with me today and creating something and being creative in the kitchen really made um, God happy today. And I hope that you enjoy your snack and the rest of your week in Vacation Bible School. And most importantly, remember that God loves you always, every day. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.